that said, given the persistent, increasingly sophisticated and morphing nature of cyber attacks, no silver bullet exists. In the meantime, we ask, is there anything to be done? Can cyber resistance be improved? Absolutely. Rather than thinking of cyber risk as a newfangled technology and security risk, each of us, financial institutions and public institutions, must recognize that this risk is perhaps the most pressing operational risk of our time. Of course, it's more than just an operational concern. Given the ease of contagion within and across the financial sector and other critical infrastructure, and given the amount of consumer data held within the financial sector, it's also a systemic concern and a reputational concern. This means that instead of building greater cyber resiliency separate from or siloed within the financial institution, leaders like yourselves should enhance your current initiatives by demanding that your organizations embed particular resiliency features into existing control structures, business processes, and cultures. Instead of grafting cybersecurity controls on top of existing controls with a hope that they'll stick, cybersecurity must become considered and intertwined in the development of fundamental components of processes so that cyber measures cannot be circumvented, removed, or defeated. Such an approach creates multiple levels of defense and enhances a cyber resiliency that is at the essence of an organization and its functions. While we work toward coordinated intergovernmental efforts and enforcement internationally, and while institutions enhance their cyber resilience by embedding controls and defenses into their cultural orientation, with long-term aspirational goals and investments to be sure, it strikes me that there are also some immediate, shorter-term fixes that can make a difference in strengthening the financial sector's resilience. 